never seen Magic Magic without one, you're going to watch it right now. I'm Cowboy Troy, I'm 31 years old. Troy, he wears, he wears the uh, cowboy hat, everyone knows who he is. He's literally the hot dog man of Towson. You think uptown, you think Troy, the hot dog man. Philosophy for me is, you know, I've done well because I'm always on that corner. It's like you can almost guarantee I'm going to be there. I tell people, they're like, I was shocked not to see you, Troy. I mean, you weren't here uh, an hour ago. I said, be shocked when I'm not here at 1 in the morning. I'm always here. You know, as long as it's not pouring rain or a foot of snow on the ground, I will be there. I left my own wedding rehearsal dinner to go sell hot dogs. The fact that Troy's there every day, that's dedication. I sweep the corner every night and 95% uh, of the trash I sweep up isn't trash that's from the tailgate grill. It's just for people who pass their buyers during the day, cigarette butts mainly. Um, and when the ladies come by, give them a little giggle and say, well, Watch it, ladies. I'll scoop you off your feet. I'm sure you will. <laughs> they come back. I'm good at that, huh? Buy hot dogs and get swept off their feet by the cowboy hot dog man who everybody seems to adore. <laughs> Troy is the best man in the world. Troy knows it all. He does it all. He's the man. It gets busy. It's, I don't ever say I have a line. I've never, I'm not going to say never, but. In eight years, I can remember three or four times where it was a single file lunch line, like when you were in fifth grade and you were waiting on the turkey day. Uh, it's a mob of people. A lot of them are out in the street waiting. Uh, they just surround me. And then I have friends that I've known for years, um, buddies that come behind the stand, and I give them hot dogs, you know, before everybody else. He allows me to cut the entire line to make my own hot dog when I feel the need because uh, he knows who I am. He's a great dude, and I, I love every time I get a hot dog, it's, it's a different experience, and, and that's probably the best thing about Troy. It's awesome that I've made friends up there. People that call me and say, oh, I haven't you know, graduated now. I haven't bought a hot dog in years and years, but here's what I'm doing. I'm doing well, and I appreciate the way you treated me. Everyone just likes him, that he remembers their name, and they have special hot dogs, and he's just the kind of guy that you want to hang around with. You know, I'm up there, I'm happy, I'm go lucky. You know, I'm always have a smile on my face, I'm always taking care of people. Um, it wasn't always that way. Back when I was 12, both my parents died. Um, and years after that, it was tough. It wasn't until just recently I actually got over it. Um, you know, where every day was a little easier. And it wasn't until my first girl was born where I actually knew then I had to grow to be an old man. There was times in my life I didn't think I'd grow to be old. He's got a wife, she's a school teacher, he's got kids, you know. It's, it feels good to support someone that works hard. My wife met me in my hot dog line. So, she knew me as the hot dog man, bought hot dogs from me, and uh, we realized that we lived in the same apartment complex. Long story short, you know, now we're married. Here. You take his hair, guy. I thought, no, okay. sure. get the hell out of Dodge. Take it now. Yeah. Take it, don't make me crazy. Joy, you dirty dog. Yeah. You know. yeah. I'm you. <laughs> so, I love you, Joy. No, he was so tired. Clutch. He, I needed this hot dog tonight. I really needed it before I drove. I really needed to, you know, battle the hangover I'm going to have inevitably tomorrow. But I need them more than they need me. You know, without them, I'm just a guy up there with a cowboy hat and a dog trying to sell hot dogs. With them, I'm a man getting it done. He really embraces everybody who's here, and he's part of, like, Towson. I could not imagine my senior year hot dog uptown experience without Cowboy Troy. And, uh, like I said, I don't only provide hot dogs. I'll give you a lot more than that if you come up and talk to me. So I'll be somebody you can count on. Come to when you need something. If you call me tonight, Alex, with a flat tire somewhere, I'm going to come get you. He will forever be known as the Uptown Hot Dog Man with the dog and the pickup truck and the camera and that's how it is. And he'll always be here forever and we love him. And I get to see people grow up up there. I'll see a freshman girl I'll go from a freshman with a fake ID to a girl that, you know, has got her bachelor's degree and she's going into the world. And that's awesome. And uh, you don't get that in many places. I mean, I'm sure teachers get it, but I'm not a teacher. I'm a guy standing on the corner selling hot dogs. But I've managed to be somebody that's important, somebody that can make a difference.